You know, talking about that, one thing that struck me was, I mean, over the uh, last month, as that, if you like, Cosmos Exxon thing has unfolded, there's always also been the STX, uh, if you like, transaction where the Korean government uh, is looking to, to, to build housing in Ghana. Is it not rather strange that, I mean, at a certain level, when you listen to it, it sounds like uh, Ghanaians are willing to do their own deep sea drilling. But on the other hand, they are, somebody must build houses for them. I mean, it seems to be a little like a contradiction that you would think that it was with houses that you would certainly do yourself. And then with deep sea drilling, you would bring other expertise because it is a much more complex thing. Is, is, does that not strike you as odd? Um, the problem is um, taking it in terms of raising financing. That, that is where... The, it's the money the, is the issue. It's not money, the, the money ability is, to build. Money is the issue. It's not the ability to build. I mean, we have companies here that are, in the past have built houses. Mm -hmm. State Housing Corporation, mm -hmm. SNIT. We did a successful housing scheme with SNIT, mm -hmm. if you remember. Mm -hmm. During a champion's time, there was a low cost. So we can build houses, project. but we, can, we don't we have the money. Build, we can build houses, but we don't have the money. We have a housing deficit that is anywhere between 500,000 and 800,000 houses. Mm. Over the last eight years, we've not done any mass housing. The last project the previous government tried to do was the affordable housing project. Mm. That was supposed to bring about 5,000 houses onto the market, which is absolutely inadequate. Peanuts. Now, what is happening is the pinch people are feeling in terms of finding accommodation where landlords say pay three years advance or leave it you know or every year they ask you to pay more advance or quit because my uh, nephew is coming back from overseas and all that is because of the pressure on housing in 2000 when we did the census we we're 19.4 million people today it's estimated that we're anything between 23 and 24 million people that's an addition of almost four and a half million people and we have built still, nothing throughout the period over the last eight years or so we have built nothing still competing for virtually the same housing stock you understand so it was necessary for government to deliver some short-term quantities in respect of housing and it's open to everybody foreigners locals if you bring financing and you say you do 30,000 houses, we'll accept it. If Greta is able to joint venture or partner with some company, because I know that the state in which their companies are, it will be difficult for them to go raise, say, $500 million to come and do housing. But their joint venture partnership that they can go into. And I assured them when I met them last year okay. that if they brought proposals to government in, in respect of raising financing to do housing, government is ready to partner with them to make it happen. We hadn't received any uh, proposal. We got this proposal from the Koreans to build 30,000. If you take 30,000 out of 800,000, we still have how many? 770,000 units to build. Yeah. And so there's something in there for everybody, foreigner or Ghanaian. So it's not a question of talking about Ghanaian or f uh, foreign competing interests. There's no competition in there. The important thing is to provide houses to the people. You shouldn't see it like that. Of just not. So and I think that it, it was the, on the basis of that, Greta withdrew their petition because I, yeah. they say they can build the houses. We say fine, so bring, you bring a proposal. So, so you don't think that there is anything to be gained from, from, from ensuring that projects such as, as, as that go to Ghanaians? You don't, David, you don't show, me, show me where we can raise 1.5 billion to build houses. It's the lack of money is the reason that that's, we have to that's do That's the this main reason. Yeah. And if you look at a lot of the credit we are taking over the last several years, they've been Exim Bank credits. And what are Exim Bank credits? They are meant to promote the businesses of the countries from which you are getting the credit. You understand? And so they are not going to give you that money and say take the money and give it to your uh, people to build mm. unless it's a loan agreement and where do we get loan agreements from government to government bilaterals so why doesn't government get money and give it to Ghanaian people to do it F from where the Don't World Bank won't give us money to build houses America won't give us money to build houses on a loan agreement people suggest sometimes that bonds their resources in this place and if it's done properly we can raise the money our last experience with raising bonds we did the euro bond we raised 750 million under the past government. None of it went into housing. 
even the allocations, the sector allocations, energy, railways, and so on and so forth, the money was not used for those sectors. Mm -hmm. It was used to pay salaries. It was used to buy diesel to run VRS generators. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't even utilize it for the purpose for which it was meant. And the more interesting thing you say that I would like to return to is that we should really sort of move away from it. I mean, whether it's a foreigner bill or a Ghanaian, you don't think we should get bogged down